And I interpret what is the meaning of uh, uniform convergence. So it is better to show the uniform convergence in terms of this diagram. Okay. Okay, uh, so if we have a real value function f of x uh, has a path series expansion, okay, about the point x equal to x zero uh, with a radius of convergence zero, so that means that. We know that we know that the can be uh, expanded by this path series. Then, then f of x is continuous okay, and uh, differentiable okay, on the open interval. And uh, f prime of x, the derivative, the derivative has a path series expansion. About the same point, x equal to x zero, with the same. See, no. And uh, we can write down the grid plus. Say that uh, if we can expand a real value function by a path series like this one, okay, and we know any path series has a radius of convergence, so we know uh, this equality for the whenever x is in this interval. When this is true, then the derivative of the box exists, and this is derivative can be expanded by a power series with the same center and the same ROC so that so the, the radius of convergence <coughs> is the same 
Okay. And uh, Rf can be obtained by differentiate each term here. So you can differentiate each term. And it's very simple, right? So, so this is the uh, differentiation of the nth term. Thank you. So it shows that uh, this power series, this power series, this is a new power series, right? Compared with this one. They are different power series. But they have the same radius of convergence. So the proof is not trivial. Okay. Yeah, we have to prove that uh, this power series has the same radius convergence as the original one. And we prove that the part this part series is equal to the, the degree. Okay. So once you have uh, once you have uh, a part series tension will not be differentiable. Okay? Alright, so so this is zero. Huh? So by recursively applying theorem 5.1.f for each k when one the case derivative So you have any derivative, any order, right? So you have derivative of any order. And for this reason, we will call f of x and an additive function. So 
we can we can write uh, these functions. This one, I'm not which is called Taylor Taylor series. If uh, if a function has a power series extension, then you can always express this power series extension by the Taylor series extension because we know what is the coefficient c. Okay. Any questions? Okay, so at this moment, I hope you, each of you already capture the main features of power series, right? I hope that. <laughs> and so you are not afraid of uh, power series extension anymore, right? Because everything has been your graph. You know, you can control. Uh, the behavior of a power series. You know in which value of x the power series converge and in which value of x it will diverge. So um, alright, so um, so we now talk about serious solution. from the simplest case. So now consider a general first order of E y prime equal to f of x y. And uh, in chapter one, uh, we learned sufficient and the necessary condition. Um, uh, actually, uh, we learned sufficient condition so that uh, such a general first order only has a unique solution. Okay, so we um, know that. But here, we would like to know whether it has a power series uh, solution. Okay, so for that, uh, a real value function f of x1, right? So if you, we have to look at uh, this function f of x1, it's called analytic. At a point x zero, y zero, in a plane, if it has a Taylor, the Taylor series. Uh, 
because this terrace series expansion valued in some uh, open rectangle. So, uh, so the um, the functions can be expanded uh, to headers series. X minus X is zero, X and R, 
1 minus y is 0, so this is 4. And and the value of fxy is less than equal to a fixed number for all in the rectangle for some m. Okay, so if this is true. So we have two conditions. First of all, uh, the, the, the new one is that the, the function of x is an identity. And for this one, this one is, we, we mentioned that before, right? In, in the um, uh, in the existence and uniqueness of uh, of uh, uh, first order um, on a differential equation. Then there exists okay, a unique solution. So that exists a unique solution y of x1 of the first order for the e So this is there guarantee guarantee a solution and this is solution is analytical. It's analytical at a um, point x equal to zero. So the solution is a parallel series extension. Okay. So to guarantee that uh, the first order or the as a, a series solution, a sufficient condition is that uh, the function f of x y is analytical at a point in the plane. Okay, so this is analytic means that the, 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 this function can be expanded uh, in this way. Right. So so you need an analytic function in the plane, not just on the real axis, because you have two values. Okay. And, and then the solution, uh, the, the, the surface, the parasitic expansion, at least uh, in an open interval, and, and, and the, the radius of the open interval can be determined by, by the rectangle here, yeah. or so you have to take the minimum of r and r divided by 3 times n. And this n is here. 
is the alpha pump. So let me take an example to illustrate uh, the implication of this theorem. The theorem just gives you say that there exists a, a unique one, right? But but this theorem does not tell you how to do it, how to find out the solution explicitly. But it will give a, a very good lead to order the solution. All right, so consider the first order of the E. So this Y from equal to, so F of this Y is X squared plus Y squared. So it's 5.112 and with initial condition y is 0, one. Okay? So now we have uh, a first order of the E and with initial condition. Now it is clear that the function f of x y x squared plus y squared is analytical at uh, x, y, 0, 1. Okay, 0 and 1. X, the center of the x is 0 and y is 1. Okay? So it's analytical at this point, this point. Why? Because you can expand uh, to Okay, to power. Uh, so this is the uh, a tennis expansion, all right, of the functions about uh, this point in the point. Okay, because we have to express efforts by powers of x and the y minus one, right? X and y minus one, because the center is zero and one. From the initial condition. Okay, so this is y is zero. Remember? So x is zero, y is zero. Okay. And uh, you can see that. Uh, This part still is mentioned um, over um, the entire plane. Okay. So that it is true. This equality is true for all x and y, x, x y points in the, the plane. We want to restrict ourselves, so let R be any positive um, number. Okay. And then in the open rectangle, R x minus is 0, less than R, y minus y minus 1, less than R. We have okay. So we want to find a function of the function within a rectangle. So we deliberately select an open interval, an uh, open rectangle. Okay, open rectangle, like this one. And uh, this is one plus two r because y minus one, right? It must be R, so you have 2R here, 
plus uh, r square plus r square. Okay. So we can. So this is equal to one plus two r plus two r square, and we define this number as n. Okay. So you know that the function value is less than m for all x one in the rectangle. Okay. In this region. Okay, so now by theorem 5.1.g, we know we have a, a solution which can be expanded by a Taylor series. Alright, so by g, that is a unique solution. Now, 
So 30 would be y. Again, we differentiate. The right hand side is 2, and this is equal to uh, 2 y. And then we prime. Okay. Plus 2 y prime squared. And this is the price of y from 0, which is equal to 2 plus 2 y 0, and this is now 0. Plus um, 2 y from 0 squared. And the value, the value is equal to 8. Okay? And uh, the first derivative is equal to 2 y y prime because 2 is constant. After the differentiation, this is 0. And this is 1 plus 6 of uh, y y prime. Okay? So we take the differentiation. And so the y. Okay? So the first derivative, when evaluated as 0, this is equal to 2 y is 0. zero. So the value is 28. Okay, so etc. You can continue to do so. Right? You know, numerical, numerical uh, computation just like this, like <laughs> definitely you can compute successively. So now we have, so at least uh, we have uh, y of x equal to 1 here, plus x is 1 here, plus 2 divided by 2 x squared, plus 8 divided by 3 factorial, plus 28 divided by 4 factorial, etc. So this is 1, plus x plus x squared, plus uh, Four, um, three, plus seven, six, four, six. Now, so we find the serious solution, right? By find out the coefficients one by one. We can do that. Okay. So it's called the successive differentiation. In case we can do this, so if we want to find, uh, the, for example, we want to find the target is 10 terms, the 10 first terms, then we can do it. <laughs> okay. All right, the other method on determining coefficients, right, this is another method. Um, x is 0 is equal to 0, and the y is 0 is equal to 1. We let, we let y of x equal to so this is 1 plus one x. Okay, so now, so we know, we know our solution can be extended by the power series. And here, because x0 is 0, so the power series is like this one. Okay? Now, so, so we, we don't know the coefficient. We don't just know the first coefficient, because c0 is equal to y0. Okay, so, so you know the first one. But you don't know C1, C2, etc. Cm. So you have to determine the coefficients. So now, Has a power series expansion with the same ROC, right? 
as, as this one. So uh, this is equal to n equal one infinity m c m x minus one. And uh, we can write this is series.
So you can write a two loop or four loop, right? And uh, not like the, this one. So sense differential is very complicated. Uh, right? Okay, so, so this one, so, so the, you, you know that the CK plus one can be find out the solution CL. Okay, so, so you can find the by previous coefficient, you can find the next coefficients. And one by one, right? Okay, so as you wish, right? If you want to find a minimum terms, no problem, maybe you can run it by 10 seconds, maybe, if your computer is very fast. Okay. So, 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 from the numerical point of view, you already solved the problem. <laughs> you have a recursive formula here. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, in particular, uh, in particular, say, um, when, with, with, a equal to three. Uh, we have uh, uh, four C four equal to two C zero. C three plus two C one C two implies C four is equal to seven plus. Okay, so now if you know one one four divided by three seven divided by six. So by the second method, you are already find the, the first five terms. So now, so y of x equals 1 plus x plus x squared plus and you can see that compared with this one, the answer are the same, right? So this is should be, right? Should be the same. Otherwise, they make a mistake in somewhere. Okay, so, right, so basically we have solved our problem. So, with this example, uh, this example is illustrated the uh, key features. How to find a serious solution. Right? This is to be a key features. So, um, so the method of undetermined coefficients always give you a recursive formula to find new coefficients from previous coefficients. This is the usual way uh, if we can compute. Okay, so any questions? And for the rest, I, I, um, I um, because of time limitation, um, um, I have uh, three more theories to state. So uh, I ask you to read through the rest of the handouts. Okay, so read this. Thank you. 